After operating for just over 30 years, the prison complex of Zwaag near the Dutch city of Horen was permanently closed. When opened, the prison was considered as one of the most revolutionary complexes in the Netherlands. So why exactly was it closed? Find out why in this episode of Forgotten Buildings. We started at the front gate of the prison. Here the prisoners were checked in, into the prison. The first building we will explore is the eastern block of the complex. During the time of recording, the demolition was already in full swing. This was really noticeable in this part. This right here was once a corridor full of prison cells. Today the cell block is partially demolished, which caused this bizarre view. The prison we are exploring today is the correctional facility of Zwaag, near the Dutch city of Horen. The facility was opened back in 1989 as a relatively light security prison. We will continue with the history later in the video. First we wanted to take a look in one of the cells. The cells were quite basic, containing a small window, a bed and a private small bathroom. Alright, it was time to move on, to the more intact secondary wing. When inside we began on the lower floor, which resembled some sort of storage area. We've got to go one more level up for the real interesting parts of this complex. Right now we are in the highlight of the complex, which is a still relatively intact wing. In this section prisoners were locked up in these small cells right here. What made this room unique though is the large availability of space and light. The reason why this prison had this much natural light can be traced back to the construction back in the late 80s. Back in the 80s most prison complexes were dating from the pre-war times and were mostly outdated. This kick-started the construction of a brand new fleet of new revolutionary complexes. One of these new generation prisons were the one we are exploring today. Zwaag was also known for the large windows which were also visible from the outside. The locals also referred to this prison with the nickname of Glass Container. When opened in 1989, the prison could house a total of 324 prisoners. But why did this complex close down if it was this revolutionary? We will cover this question later in the video. First we will take a closer look at the architecture of this complex. Although it was already partly stripped of its details, most of the structure itself was intact, which truly gave you a unique feel on how it was like to live between these walls. It was once again time to move on. We have already covered most of the buildings, except for a small structure located on the outskirts between the large prison walls. Not much is left looking at a large pile of rubble next to it. Inside the building a small gym was located. When upstairs another small interesting part could be found. These were the solitary confinement cells. 
these rooms were as expected quite depressing and bland spaces. You really don't want to be locked in here. Small traces of life could be found here though. So let's finally answer the question why this prison had to close down. Well, the answer is maybe a bit unexpected. But it's caused primarily by the lack of inmates. This led to the decision to close down the prison, after operating just a bit less than 30 years. With this, a large complex was abandoned. In autumn of 2021, the demolition of the complex was started. Today nothing remains of the once revolutionary prison complex. Except for the many past memories and the time spent between these large concrete walls. Do you want to see early previews on what's coming next to the channel? If that's the case, follow the official Instagram page or Facebook page of Forgotten Buildings. Check it out at Forgotten Buildings. <laughs>